this training, we are going to look at uh, greenhouse tomato production. During this course, we are going to look at the various aspects of uh, greenhouse production. And here, we are going to talk about uh, the advantages of uh, greenhouse. Then we are going to look at the site selection, the various aspects that uh, we are going to look at when you are doing uh, the site selection. And uh, from there, we are going to look at the seedling, the variety of the seedling, and then the seedling raising. How do you raise this seedling so that they can be able to grow very well? We are going to look at um, the basics of the greenhouse. That is the various aspects such as the, such as, uh, the greenhouse, uh, uh, the permanent greenhouse, the semi-permanent greenhouse, and the advantages of uh, having uh, such uh, greenhouses. We are also going to look at the air circulation. How does air circulate here? And then from there, we are going to look at uh, the greenhouse structure itself. Uh, the various aspects inside the greenhouse. Uh, that is uh, the structure itself. We are going to look at the polythene, the shed netting, the side netting, uh, the trellis. That is the wire support. We are going to look at uh, the other support that supports that wire. We are going to look at the twines, what you can see here. All those are the aspects we are going to look at. And then inside the greenhouse, we are going to look at establishing of the beds. You can be able to see the beds here, how to establish them. And then uh, the soil treatment, how, do, how to treat the soil uh, inside, uh, uh, you know, the, the soil so that uh, the, the, the tomatoes are not affected. And then the watering aspect, uh, the deep irrigation aspect, all of that we are going to look at. And then transplanting, how do you transplant these seedlings here? How do you do the weeding uh, when the weeds are there? You can be able to see here. Already some weeds are developing. How do you do the weeding here? And then from there, once you plant the plant, we go to uh, the starting stage. Uh, how to control the pests and diseases uh, and the nutrition aspect in the starting stage. And then in the vegetative stage, the same situation. Flowering stage, the fruiting stage, the harvest stage and uh, the management aspects that are deployed during all these stages. And then from there, we're going to go to harvest, uh, the harvesting technique, how you harvest, uh, how you store these tomatoes, the market, and finally, we're going to look at the gross margin. Because uh, the gross margin, the important aspect of uh, knowing, uh, once you have this crop and you have established your tomatoes, will your investment, will you have return on investment? That is uh, also another important aspect we are going to look at because uh, if the return on investment uh, doesn't look appealing, then it means there is no need of investing your time and your resources in doing such a greenhouse and even going to the length of planting uh, the tomatoes here. And therefore, all those are the aspects that we are going to look at, uh, 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 to look at during this training. Many years, tomatoes have been planted outdoor. Uh, or, or, in, or in the open field. But over time, the last uh, maybe 15, 20 years, we have seen uh, emergence of uh, different varieties of uh, uh, tomatoes that can be planted in, uh, inside a greenhouse. And then the tomatoes, we call them indeterminate, which means they grow and grow. They don't have a limit on to where they can grow. Most of the uh, tomatoes that have been planted outdoor, uh, they are the one we call determinate, whereby they grow to a certain height. During this training, we are going to learn more about uh, tomato uh, production. Personally, I have dealt with uh, greenhouse farming. Uh, that is a uh, greenhouse uh, vegetable production. That is uh, dealing with tomatoes, capsicum and um, cucumber for more than 10 years. And uh, I have been able to have a lot of experience on uh, the nitty gritties on uh, production inside the greenhouse. And I'm sure after, at the end of this training, you are going to be equipped with everything that you need uh, that can be able to help you to grow successfully the tomatoes here in the greenhouse because there are so many things that uh, usually affect the tomatoes here and if you are not you don't have any uh, good knowledge on uh, some of the things that uh, affect the tomatoes or the crop inside this greenhouse then you are going to be to have a challenge uh, you know getting very profitability growing very well the tomatoes here